Hey, what's up guys? Ben Clark here for Adapt to Perform. Now, if you follow me on social media or have been for a little while, you know, roughly about a year ago, I was in Australia. Now, I was there for about a month and I was doing some several different things out there. And one of those things is what I will be showing you in today's video. I was in Newcastle in New South Wales and I had an amazing time with Smarter Bodies and Smarter Minds. Um, with Rohan there and I want to show you what I got onto because I think that if you are, have spinal injury or that you're interested in the topic you're gonna love what they are doing down there in the good old down under <laughs> So I was in Newcastle for four days and they were four absolutely fabulous days. Newcastle itself is a beautiful place, more well known really for its mining and you know big heavy industry but in the small little gym in the little corner of the little estate that they had there there's this place where they are literally changing the way we think about spinal cord rehab basically and other types of rehab like stroke and various other things that affect people ne neurologically. So as I said, I was down there for four days and I got to basically try out a whole range of different therapies that Rohan does. Um, a little bit about Rohan, he is an amazing guy. He is as intelligent as he is emotionally intelligent, I guess. Um, he's a very caring and understanding man and he is super intelligent, he knows his stuff. And being with him at that time was such a privilege to me. So, um, yeah, sharing this with you guys is, is really special. It's a really special time for me. And yeah, it was really cool. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what I did in each of those days. And I'm gonna give you a little bit, bit of explanation of what's going on. Now, I probably won't get all of this right because some of it is quite above my head, I would say. Um, but hopefully you'll be able to, I'll give you an idea of what they're doing down there. And believe me, some of it, very cutting edge, very awesome, and you're gonna love it. All right then, let's head into it. All right then guys, so this is what I went to on day one. So first of all, Rohan was very lovely as I was saying in the intro, and he was pretty, uh, pretty awesome guy. Um, and he's the one on the left, I'm the one on the right in the wheelchair obviously. Um, but yeah, what he's doing here in this first one is sort of seeing where I am with what my responsiveness is. And um, if you guys have ever heard of an FES machine, which is stands for Functional Electric Stimulation, then you'd probably know it from like a bike or something. But the one he's using here, which is the pen that he's using, is like a very fine version of it. Imagine it's like a scalpel compared to a hammer, which an FES bike would be. So it sends in very specific electric stimulation in very specific points. And the whole idea behind Rohan's philosophy is that he sends signals from below the level of injury while you're trying to send signals from the top of the injury and hopefully they start to you know connect they branch out just like tree branches they start to come together and uh, over time and over lots of therapy sessions and that eventually you get little by little by little now he's not claiming that this is a cure by any chance or what he's doing it's sort of getting the most out of what you have he uses a hell of a lot of different techniques and that so as we just saw the FES one and um, we're now moving on to some light therapy or well, laser therapy and yeah so he has this whole toolbox of tools and he throws them at you and see uh, see what works for you basically so yeah with this one he, as you can see he's using some lasers um, cold lasers and so don't worry they're not gonna burn through your skin <laughs> um, and essentially what this does is it helps break down scar tissue essentially um, with that and so he did that on my legs a bit and that's going to help break down that scar tissue help them move a bit and he's doing a bit now on my spine on the actual sort of area of my injury one of the major things that causes quite a lot of the problems with spinal injury is scar tissue around that actual site and around that injury so having someone break it down is you know that's the idea is that it helps with a little bit more movement Okay then guys, so moving on to day two, we are doing some breathing technique. And the whole idea is that breathing is a massive part of rehabilitation. Like it's quite underused and having sort of those breathing techniques coming in 
means that you can sort of focus your energy and really apply yourself into the other thing. So having that is a really great thing. And now we're moving into more of the FES that you might have seen if you've seen FES before. Um, using these pads, but instead of an FES bike, like just doing those same patterns, Rohan has a controller and is able to control the exact movements and all that. So um, yeah, having somebody there that really understands it and really sort of thinks that oh, I need to do this to do this and um, yeah, it's just seeing what worked really for that individual. You know, every spinal injury is different and therefore every type of rehab has to be different. And as you can see here, the legs are moving and that's through the muscles. Now as you can see here, we are going on to the VR. So this is probably the headline attraction, as I probably should say. Um, this is what people are starting to know Rohan for, um, using VR as a therapy. As I said before, like stimulating the legs or below the level of injury, whatever, whilst stimulating from up above means that we can try and get those nerve endings to really communicate with each other reach out and sort of touch each other say so i will say this again this isn't a cure he says that it's not a cure but you know doing this is getting trying to help people as much as you can so you see here he's got the unit that we we're using earlier combined with the vr it's sending signals from my head down and from my legs up trying to reach them in the middle imagine it like a frayed electrical cable you can see on the screen this is what i was doing in vr playing a game very good, very entertaining. Listen to a bit of the who. Um, and yeah, so having those like nerving is trying to reach out and trying to connect to each other. Let's say, imagine it like a frayed cable, one's near each other and it's arcing across, and all it needs to do is wiggle out. Obviously, the world not. <laughs> wiggle out and sort of touch each other. Alright then, so on day three, Rohan decided to get me out of the chair and onto the floor and really sort of experiment with what I can do, moving around and all these sort of things. So I think he just really wanted to punish me on this day and <laughs> just have a bit of fun. But it, it like this sort of therapy is, you know, really helpful in the long term. Getting on the floor and really experimenting of what you can do with your body is really beneficial towards spinal rehab. You know, this is... I say it's more about finding out what you can do rather than what you can't do so this before i knew i could do a press up but i didn't really realize how you know strong my press ups could be how i could do it with maybe a tiny bit of core function you're working on here he's got me on a balance beam and we're working on time under tension so the whole idea here was that we're going very slow down you can see he's tapping on the back there that's to try and excite the nerves down there get those muscles firing and going into the press up. Sorry it's a bit blurry, had a little bit of problems there with the uh, the footage. So going slowly down, it was 10 seconds down, holding the bottom for 10 seconds, push back up. So one press up, but really, really hard. And uh, I was breathing heavy on this one, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, just holding it there, holding it there, wobbling a bit. You see, I'm on one of those sort of slack beams. You might've seen people in the park using those. Very wobbly, not easy at all, but really good. Yeah, holding it there. See my arms wobbling, breathing heavy. What he's trying to do there is trying to get his back muscles firing. And um, here he is. <laughs> I thought I'd add this in there, seeing I didn't think he quite realise how tall I would be. <laughs> but uh, he's a strong man too. So uh, just get seeing how uh, one person can lift you up and put you in the chair. <laughs> Okay, so on the last day, we did a little bit of the breathing techniques and all that again, and we did a finish off. So the machine we're about to use now is a FES machine like we used in the previous ones, but this is sort of, um, if the other one was like tickling you with a feather, this is like smacking you around the head with a baseball bat. It's a really powerful FES, and what he's gonna do is turn them all on sort of at the right sort of time, and slowly I'm lifting up. So this isn't like a regular standing frame. There's no assistance. There's no things to pull me up. This is the FES firing off the muscle in the right area at the right time to help lift me up. 
Um, so yeah, it's showing that my body, given the right stimulus, would be able to stand up again and would be able to cope with it. And uh, everybody's very happy there. Uh, we're going to try it one more time in this video. But yeah, it's, uh, it was a pretty exciting moment. You know, I used a standing frame before, but never really used FES in conjunction with a kind of standing frame thing. And um, that meant that I could, you know, it's, it was my body that was doing it. You know, although my brain wasn't telling my muscles to move, my body was the one that was lifting me up, which was quite unique, quite a good experience. You see, we're going to go through it one more time. So everybody's ready. So you might be able to see people are holding onto the side of me. All they're doing there is making sure I don't tip side to side. That's all it is. And um, mum's at the front there. She's holding it, making sure that stand doesn't move. Rohan's doing all the controls, so you'll be able to see it from this side now. Um, and yeah, so this FES, as I said, is like like a jackhammer kind of thing. It really fires off and it gives you enough power so you can really fire up those muscles and stand up. The kind of the idea is as you use it more and more, you use a little bit less power, a little bit less power, and it's sort of more you taking control, which is quite exciting um, to think. So that's sort of the progression of how the therapy would go basically so we go just about to go up again and up we go so here basically what i'm doing is like we were saying before i'm trying to think about standing up um i'm trying to drive those into the ground the fes is like going off and that's helping me stand up and yeah it's getting me there <laughs> my cheeky smile Okay guys, so I hope you liked that video. It's just an insight of what they do at Smarter Body, Smarter Minds and what the fantastic work that Rowan does. Um, if you wanna know more, then I'm gonna put some links down below in the description. Have a look at those um, and explore. There are some more videos coming out from them soon. I wanna go into a bit more detail and I want, to, there's one of them which is an interview with Rohan and he basically explains everything that I tried to explain there a lot better than me. Um, this is taking a little while for the video to come out. Um, I had some issues, but I'm glad it's out here now and I'm glad I can share it with you. Um, if you want to know more information about them, then please get in contact with them, find out what they're doing. Um, it's a real big sort of, it's not just a step forwards in terms of the rehabilitation side of it, but it's a step forwards thinking like there's people out there that really care about spinal injury and they really want to help rehabilitate people. Um, and you can tell that there's real passion behind it. Um, so yeah, really, I want you to go over, support them as much as you can, head over to their Facebook page, as I said, I'll link everything down below. But for now guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you do enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Cheers guys.